Chess friends, welcome back. Okie dokie. So I think we're all in agreement that the last game against Black Hole was a little fishy, a little suspect to say the least. <laughs> I usually try to give people the benefit of the doubt. But... I think we all know that game was a little, a little too good. Okay, we're seeing the advanced variation from white. I think bishop f5 is just always the response here. Okay, we got the knight out. Uh, I'm pretty certain e6 is the next move. Followed up by c5. What country is this? What country is that? Nepal or something? I don't know. Pakistan? Thailand. Didn't know that one. I think the engine actually recommends pinning the knight here. Oh, I'm going to go for the trade here. And then I believe the move is c5. I think about this. If he goes a3, I'm kind of forced to fall back. Recaptures with his queen here. I don't want to make the knight move. I don't really want to play e7 because then I don't have a great place to fall back to. I guess I could always just fall back to um, a5, right? Hmm. Let me think about this. e7 or push? I don't really want to push up because... I'm going to lose a defender on c5. So I'm almost tempted to just bring this knight out onto d7. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I kind of want to go knight d7, as weird as that is. I may regret this. Let's see how it goes. I was expecting uh I was expecting A3 there. I'm surprised. I think now is a fine time to push C5. Yeah, I think c5 is the move here.
Yeah, my understanding of the Karo Khan is that the C pawn is really just a sacrifice to take the D4 pawn out. Yeah. So I'm trying to figure out what the more pressing move is here. Like bringing the knight out and attacking the queen seems okay. But in the same vein, that's going to be two pieces that are not defending or are undefended and are going to be more or less loose. And I think the only way to defend them is to bring uh, the queen out. And then he could have move like a4. But even then, that'll be defended. If I were to take with the knight on c5, I think I'm just going to take with the knight on c5. It attacks the queen, so it just seems really good. He has the check, and then I could always just fall back, right? Yeah, but here's the problem. If I go here and he gives me the check... Um, yeah, if I take with the knight and he gives me check... I think he'll just be winning the bishop is the problem. So I think taking with the bishop is the idea here. Yeah, because b5 check is not going to be great. I can try to block in with the queen, but then the bishop is still going to be hanging. So I'm going to take with the bishop in this case. I think it's a safer bet. And he, I, he can't deliver check on b5 here. And this is still defended. So I think we're in a pretty good spot here. Next move is probably knight e7, and try to get the knight out onto f5, and then castle. Seems okay. And that last game was so strange. The last game was really, really, really weird. <laughs> uh, that was one of the strongest 850s I've ever played. <laughs> uh... I think queen c7 is like a strong move in the caro, right? The one issue that I do end up running into when I play this caro con c6 d5 business is that I feel like the knights are always really awkward on these squares. Hmm, okay. I want to try and preserve my dark square bishop here. Hmm. Do I trade? I don't really want to trade. I don't really want to fall back to... Uh, I think I have to fall back to e7, go knight h6, and try to get onto f5 that way. I don't know. I have run into this problem before. Yeah. Yeah, this is the one thing that I I don't like. I'm almost tempted to just trade. Well, I could always like do a weird move like this. 
and then try to fall like b4, a5 or something like that. So if he tries to kick me, I can just fall back. Can't really harass this queen yet. I don't really want to go back to e7. I don't want to trade off because it's valuable. Ideas. Ideas, ideas, ideas. I'm going to listen to my gut on this one. Go B4. I think if he goes D2, that's going to be a problem for me because then I can't fall back. But I could always just trade off with the queen and then threaten his knight. If I get my queen on A5, we do this trade. I don't know. Just an idea. Probably want to scoot the rook over to c8 at some point, too. Interesting. Interesting idea here. I don't want to lose this pawn. Hmm. So I don't think I can protect everything all at once, right? Hmm. Good move by him. How can I protect everything here? Nah, I was not seeing this move. That's a nice move by him. Yeah, I think I should have fallen, fallen back to e7. Now this knight's pinned too. That's a bit annoying. Hmm. Good move by him. Could almost protect it, but not quite. Yeah, well. Well. I guess e7 it is. Unfortunately, I have to lose my pawn, sad as that is. I'm going to have to look for some reformations. Rep reformands. That's ah, a bummer. Yeah, I misplayed that. What can you do? What can you do? Yeah, I miss playing this. Pretty bad. Go attack the knight or something. <laughs> eh. Suppose I could go trade these off so I can get my knight out onto e7 at least. Even then, that's just a crap square for the bishop again. Hmm. Hmm. Do 
could just offer the queen trade here or something and try to hope for the best. I wonder if knight b6 is a move. Knight b6, he captures, I take with the pawn. His queen gets a little bit closer to getting trapped in. He can't retake with the queen. Mm. It's an idea. It's one way to open up the file. Uh, I'm probably going to regret this. I might regret this. I just might regret this move. If I could go back and redo anything, I would have redone this bishop move here. That's what I, that's what I would have done different. Yeah. taking was with the bishop was the right idea here but probably should have just fallen back yeah see i think knight b6 is just going to force his queen uh to make some escape moves interesting i mean there's a free knight now I don't know if you realize that, but so what am I losing by doing this? What am I losing by taking this knight? He's pointing at the pawn. What does he win a pawn or something? I mean, you can have the pawn, I guess. I don't know. Hopefully this isn't some trap I'm walking into here, but... What am I missing here? can always run it back to c5 and finally get my dark square bishop out. This queen has a chance to escape. I think if I were him, I would just run my queen out. But it's just me. Okay. Hopefully this isn't some trap. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> All righty then. Oh, he lost 40 points. He lost 40 elo. I bet this is a new account. Is it? Oh, not enough games. He just joined. How come he doesn't have a rating? He's played a lot of games. Huh. This is a strange account. Games. Only five rapid games? Uh. Okay. Well.
kind of hard to tell if this is a new player or if he just made a really bad blunder. But um, I'm really curious about this. I actually, if it is a new account, I think he played pretty well. Um, finding the attack on that uh, B7 square was pretty good. I want to see where I went wrong. I think I played a couple bad moves. I just want to learn, learn some ideas here. Why did I think pinning the knight was the idea here? Yeah, I know recapturing the light square bishop in the Karo Khan is more or less an idea. Yeah, so I should, okay, so I should have went 97 here and just looked for the castle sooner. Yeah, taking the knight. Yeah, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like in the Karo Khan, because all of your pawns, well, most of your pawns end up on light squares, the dark square bishop tends to be more valuable if I'm, if I'm not wrong, right? Maybe someone can correct me on that. So that's why I wasn't like really eager to trade this off. So, uh, trade this way. Get the rook out. Interesting idea. Get, getting getting the rook out. I figured it'd be okay just protecting this with the knight. Worst case scenario. Queen a5 seemed bad because aren't you just losing b7 and then your rook is under attack? Isn't it? Here's what I was expecting if I went a5. I, I did mention that in the game, but what I was expecting was b7, right? And then what could we do here? Uh, so these two are protected. Uh, so now his queen probably gets trapped. Well, no, he still has... Well, no, yeah, this gets attacked. Oh, right. Oh, so takes. Yeah, so I think his queen actually gets trapped in that case. I see. Yeah, because he has nowhere else to run. Because, let's see, if he goes... Let's say something like c6. The knight just comes out to e7, right? And then, well, can't he go... I don't know. Can't he go like c4? Doesn't that save it? Hmm. Yeah, can't he just run away with like c4? I guess the only bad part about this is that it loses a knight. Oh, sure. Oh, right. Duh. Oh, right. <laughs> C4. Just kidding. Forget everything I just said. Yeah, so he really has no escape at this point. Because, uh, yeah. Attacked, attacked. Attacked, 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 attacked. Attacked. Yeah, so his queen would have gotten trapped. Okay. Cool, yeah. Little difficult to find that. Um, You have to kind of calculate, like, three moves ahead there, I think. Like, one... One, two, three. Bit more calculation than my brain can handle. <laughs> and this was bad. Okay, so queen a5 was the idea here. Yeah, okay, yeah, so the queen trade was the idea. Yeah, that was also an idea. I gotta listen to my gut. <laughs> the queen runs away. Okay, still maintaining the pin there. The pin to win. Bishop d8, okay, b3, and then probably knight e7. Well, knight e7 is what I would have played, but okay, yeah, so he just weakens his pawn there. I see. Well, here's what I was expecting to happen. Uh, I was thinking he would take the trade, I would just get his knight out, or we would just exchange knights, and then this pawn kind of blocks his queen from going anywhere, and then. I could, uh, let's see, so what could he play? Okay, so he could look for the check. Oh, he would have the check there. Ah, uh, and then he could just win a pawn. Ah, uh, okay, so I made some errors there. Okay. Right. 
because he would win the pawn there as well. What if we just trade it off? Not so bad. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, so I guess taking with the queen there wouldn't have been the worst thing in the world. He's just still only up a pawn in this case. Okay, I can live with that. Yeah, this was a big blunder. I thought this was some trap at first. Um, and I thought he was just going to, like, run his queen back so I couldn't... I, 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 never mind, never mind, actually, never mind. I'm surprised this is such a mistake. That's crazy. Just taking a free knight. <laughs> you overlooked an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. You allowed the opponent to force a loss of castling rights. Hmm. I see. And then, yeah, he just threw it down the toilet. Lucky me. Well, it's a strange way to win. You're just offering a queen, but uh, it is what it is, I guess. So, um, yeah, GG Akurui, 777 from Thailand. Thanks for the game. Appreciate it. Good luck in your next games. And thanks, guys, for watching. See ya tomorrow.